Hi, welcome to Yoga Community. This is Lynn Maloof. Happy to have you here practicing. <clears throat> we'll start seated, any comfortable position. Close your eyes. And allow your attention to drop into your body and your breath. And take a time, take a moment and notice your thoughts. You know, they're always there sort of beckoning your attention. So rather than try and ignore, ignore them, in which case they fight louder and harder. Just take a look for a moment at your thoughts, those things that are popping up for you. Right, and having noticed them, allow them to just have a little bit of a quieter voice. Find a length in the spine, maybe tip back just a little bit. We tend to kind of hinge forward when we sit. Release any gripping in the belly. And then open the eyes and drop the chin down to the chest. Open up the back of the neck. And just some gentle rolls of the head from side to side. And you can take it around back. And And then take the right shin in front of the left. Walk the feet away from each other, paralleling the shins. Bring the hands behind you, fingertips face back. And then lengthen the spine. Walk the hands in a little more. And then take the right arm out to the side, the left arm up. Reach with that left arm. Look down at that right elbow. Turn the elbow crease away from you. And bring it over. Let that right shoulder drop down away from the ear. Keep reaching and then slowly press yourself back up. Nice. Hands behind you, switch legs. Walk the feet away, bring the fingertips back and lengthen the spine. And then left arm out to the side, roll the elbow away, right the elbow crease away from you. Bring the right arm up. Let that left shoulder drop away from the ear as you bring it over and reach out with that right arm. Nice, and bring it back up. With the hands behind you, bring the soles of the feet together and press the heel bones together in Baddha Konasana. And it's not so much that the knees are pressing or moving down, but they're moving away from each other, the knees. 
So it's a sense of lengthening through the inner thigh. Keep the hands where they are and just bring the legs wide into Upavishta Konasana. And the same thing, the heel bones feel like they're moving further and further away. One more time, heels together, feet together, Baddha Konasana. Heel bones press each other, towards each other, spine lengthens, shoulders roll back. And one more time, wide angle pose, Upavishya Konasana. And then take the hands in front here just a moment. It's early in the game. We're not going to go too, too deep, but some just sort of gentle swaying from side to side. You can soften the elbows, draw the chest forward a little bit. So not holding it in one place per se, but just sort of swaying into it a little bit. Nice. And then press yourself back up. Move into downward facing dog. Take a deep bend of the right knee, come onto the ball of the right foot, and the left heel presses down. So really working into that left calf and hamstring, lengthen through the arms. Find your breath. And then switch, deep bend of the left knee, right leg is straight, right heel sinks towards the mat. Nice. And then two straight legs for a breath or two. With an inhale, shift into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. And again, inhale into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. One more time, inhale into a plank. And exhale back into a dog. Walk the hands back to the feet. Heel toe the feet off the mat. Nice little wide stance there. And then walk the hands out on fingertips and lengthen the spine. Leave the left arm where it is. Thread the right hand through for the outside of the left ankle or shin and turn to the left. And you can let that right hip drop down. Feel like that left hip is reaching up for the ceiling. So let the pelvis move, don't lock it in place. Find your breath, and then take that left arm, wrap it around behind you into the right hip crease or close to it, and turn from the belly. Roll that left shoulder back. Take another breath. And come back through center, two arms out in front on fingertips. Right arm stays long and connected. Left hand reaches through for the outside of the right ankle or shin and you turn. And as you do, there's a little pull of that left hand and that right shin kind of pressing against each other. And then right arm, wrap it around behind you and turn from the belly. Come back to center and walk back into dog pose. Right leg up, three-legged dog, keep the hips level. And then shift into plank. Shift back into dog pose. Just getting some of the rust off here. Roll that right hip open. Keep 
the leg straight to start. Two straight arms, then bend the right knee and turn a little more. Nice, keep the knee bent, level the hips, shift halfway to plank, angling that right knee towards that left elbow, and then slide that right leg out to the side, parallel to the front of the mat. I like to wiggle the back foot back a little bit, get a little bit of a longer stance here, and then let that right hip sink towards the floor as the chest, it's kind of an upward facing dog shape. Drag that right leg back and come back into dog pose. A couple of nice breaths here. Left leg up, three legged dog. Shift into plank. Back into dog pose. Keep the leg straight, roll the hip open. And then bend the knee, open it up a little more. Keep the knee bent, leveling the hips. Shift halfway to plank, left knee towards that right elbow, and then slide that left leg out to the right, wiggle the back foot back, a bit so you give yourself some space and let that left hip sink down as the chest moves forward. Just a version of fallen revolved triangle pose. And back into dog pose. Walk the feet up to the hands. Sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Halfway up, hands to shins, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Halfway up, inhale, and exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, reach. Exhale, hands to heart. Sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Plant the hands, right foot back, right knee down. Start with the hands on that left thigh and open the chest up. Nice. Sweep the arms up. Reach. Nice. Palms together, thumbs at heart center, right elbow over left thigh, turn. One more breath. Hands down, plank. Come all the way down. Clasp the hands behind you in locust. And down. Downward facing dog. Right leg up, keep the leg straight, roll the hip open, press the floor away. Breathe. Drop that left forearm down and turn. Keep that right leg raised, press back into three-legged dog. And then shift into plank, right knee, right upper arm. Hips stay high. Arms are straight. Shoot the leg back. And lower down. Bend 
the knees look forward. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Plant the hands, left foot back, left knee down, both hands on that right thigh to start. Connect with the feet and then sweep the arms up. Palms together, thumbs at heart center, left elbow over right thigh and turn. Hands down, plank. Lower all the way down to the floor, clasp the hands behind you, locust. And down, downward facing dog. Left leg up, keep the leg straight as you roll the hip open. <clears throat> then drop that right forearm down and turn a little more. Keep the leg raised, press back into a three-legged dog. Shift into plank, left knee, left upper arm, hips high, arms straight. Shoot the leg back and lower it down. Find your breath. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up. Dive down. Plant the hands, right foot back, right knee down. Start with the hands on that left thigh. And then interlace the fingers in front, press them out and reach up. And once you're up here, Reach, straighten the elbows, stand down with the feet, feel like they're pulling towards each other, and notice your breath. One more breath here. Release the hands and clasp them behind you, and open the chest up. Draw the palms together in front. Right elbow over left thigh and turn. Roll the back toes under, straighten the leg. Swivel up into a high crescent lunge, thumbs at heart center. Interlace the fingers and press out. And then up. Push. Clasp the hands behind you <clears throat> and open the chest. One more breath here and then float the arms up and reach. Hands down, plank. Come all the way down to the floor. Cobra pose, elbows in and down. Downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Bend the knees and exhale. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. 
left foot back, left knee down. Interlace the fingers and press out. And up, push. Connect with the feet, feel like the feet are pulling towards each other. And then release the hands, clasp them behind you, draw them back. Palms together, thumbs at heart center. Left elbow over right thigh and turn. Curl the back toes under, straighten the leg. Swivel up into a high crescent lunge, thumbs at heart center. Take a moment here, connect with your breath. Interlace the fingers and press out. And then up. Clasp the hands behind you. Reach back. One more nice breath here. And then sweep the arms up. Hands down, plank. Lower all the way down. Cobra pose, elbows in, chest open. And down. Come on to all fours, hands and knees. And just for a moment, a cat and cow. Inhale. As you come into your cow, and exhale into your cat. And again, inhale into your cow. And exhale into your cat. One more time, inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Downward facing dog, inhale. On your own, a few breaths here. Raise the right leg. Roll the hip open, bend the knee, turn. Step forward with that right foot. Keep the left leg, left leg straight. And then, left hand down, turn to the right, taking it into a simple twist. Right arm reaches straight up. Bring that right hand down. Drop that left knee. Walk that right foot out nice and wide. Take a nice wide stance with that left hand, right? So a nice steady base, take it out to the left. Sinking forward, bend the left knee. Hold on to the inside arch of the foot, big toe side. Draw the foot in towards you and then turn the chest up. Stay here, perfectly fine, or for a couple of breaths, drop that left forearm down in front, sink that left hip down. One more breath. Nice, release that left foot, back the hips up, You've got that right foot out on an angle. Keep it at that angle, right? So it's kind of a modified Hanumanasana as we slide it out. It's not straight in front of you. 
And then, you know, be careful working with the body that you've got today and the hamstrings that you've got today. You can furl the back toes under, lengthen that back leg a little bit, and then unfurl. And then simultaneously, you can slide that right leg out and forward. Just a breath or two. Press down with the hand, drag that leg back. And step back and sit down with facing dog. Left leg up, roll the hip open, bend the knee. And then step forward with that left foot, keeping the right leg straight. Keep the right hand on the floor and turn to the left, left arm reaches up. One more nice breath here. Left hand down. Right knee drops down. Left foot wiggles wide. Right hand comes nice and wide. Sink forward. Bend that right knee. Hold the inside arch of the foot, the big toe side. And as you sink forward, your torso is going to want to twist towards that left leg, right? Because that sort of reduces the sensation in front. But instead, turn forward. As you draw that foot in, feel free to stay here. This may be plenty of sensation. Or right forearm in front, hip sinks even forward. So having the right forearm down doesn't intensify it if the hips are back up in the air. You've got to let those hips sink down. Take another breath. Release the foot. Walk the hands back. Leave that left foot on that sort of diagonal. And then begin to slide that left foot forward. And again, in, in Hanumanasana, it's not all about the hamstrings on the front leg. It's also about the open hip flexor on the back leg. So furl the back toes under, straighten that back leg a little and lengthen it away from you and then unfurl. And then continue to straighten that front leg a little or a lot, working with your body today. And breathe. Don't create a narrative in your head about your tightness or whatever. Just stay with it and breathe. Nice. Press down with the hands. Drag that foot back and come back into dog pose. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up. Dive down. Plant the hands, right foot back. Come right into a high crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up. And then, normally that right heel is kind of reaching down. Right? It's up in the air, but it's pressing down. I want you to let that right heel float up. Come high up like you're getting on a really high pair of high-heeled shoes. From there, creep that left foot forward a little bit. Just scooch it. Then let the left thigh sink down a little more. And reach up with that right thigh. One more breath, palms together, thumbs at heart center, right elbow over left thigh, turn. One more breath, 
Come back into a high crescent lunge, thumbs at heart center. And then a couple little steps from that back foot going forward, taking you into warrior three, hands at the heart. Left hand down, right hand to the hip, open it up into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Couple of nice breaths here. This is kind of a breath holding pose, so be mindful of that. Bring the right hand down, square the hips. Step back into a high crescent lunge, arms sweep up. Hands down, chaturanga or dog pose. If chaturanga, then up dog. And downward facing. Find your breath. Take a nice deep inhale. Bend the knees and exhale. Step or hop to the top of the mat and sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Plant the hands. Left foot back, high crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up. And then the same thing as we did before. Right, that left heel, bring it up, right? Like you're going onto a pair of high heels. That'll open up the front of that left hip. Then, I know it feels a little awkward, Kind of scooch that right foot forward a little bit. And then sink that right thigh down. Palms together, thumbs at heart center. Left elbow over right thigh and turn. One more breath. Back into a lunge, thumbs at heart center. Warrior three, hands at the heart. One more breath. And then half moon, right hand down, left hand to the hip. Open that hip up and then float that left arm up. Left hand down, square the hips, find your breath here. And then step back, high lunge, sweep the arms up. Hands down, chaturanga or dog pose. If chaturanga, don't crash through it, up dog. And down facing dog. Take a deep bend of the right knee. Look at the left leg. Pivot that left heel into center. Keep the left leg straight. Reach away with the arms and turn to the left. Back into center. Deep bend of the left knee. Right leg stays straight. Right heel pivots into center. Turn to the right. Back to dog pose. Walk the feet up to the hands. Feet are hip distance apart. Clasp the hands behind the back, forward fold. Let the head and neck go. Deep bend of the left knee, keep that whole left foot on the floor. 
right leg is straight, turn to the right. Feel like you're pushing through the floor with that right foot. Come back to center, forward fold. Deep bend of the right knee, left leg is straight, turn to the left. Come back to center, forward fold, release the hands, bring the feet together and sweep up with an inhale. Dive down with an exhale. Plant the hands, right foot back, keep the hands on the mat, right heel pivots into center, pull that left hip crease back, and then fly the arms back alongside you. On an inhale, warrior one, sweep up. Clasp the hands behind you, turn the chest forward, humble warrior, forward fold. Release the hands here. Wiggle that left foot just a little bit off to the left. Bring that left shoulder inside of the knee. And as much as is possible, tucking that left shoulder under that left knee. Bring the left hand to the outside of the ankle or shin. And just for a moment, push the hand against the leg, the leg against the arm, and take a moment there. Nice, release that left hand, bring it back, wiggle the foot back in just a little more, and sweep back up into warrior one. Hands down, dog pose. Shift forward into plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of the mat, and sweep up. Dive down, plant the hands and keep them there. Left foot back, left heel in. Pull that right hip crease back. And then fly the arms alongside you. Connect with the legs. On an inhale, warrior one. Clasp the hands behind you, turn the chest forward, and forward fold. And then release the hands again, wiggling that right foot just a smidge to the right. Enough room to sort of snuggle that right shoulder underneath folding the outside of that foot, ankle, shin. And then just some pressure there from that right upper arm to the leg and the leg back into the arm. Nice, release that, bring the foot back a smidge where it was. And with an inhale, sweep back up into warrior one. Hands down, dog pose. Yeah. 
Shift into plank, come through chaturanga, upward dog, and downward dog. Take a deep bend of the right knee, come onto the ball of the foot. Left leg is straight, left heel pivots into center. This time walk the hands just a little closer in towards the feet to so shorten the dog up just a little bit. Lengthen the spine, lengthen the arms, press down with the, bait, the ball of the foot on the right side and keeping that left arm really long and straight. Right hand lifts up outside of the left ankle or shin and turn. Bring the right hand back, normalize the legs. Deep bend of the left knee, come onto the ball of the left foot. Right leg is straight, right heel pivots into center. Lengthen through that right arm. The more you lengthen through that right arm and press the mat away, you can feel that left hand getting lighter. Like it's just less and less meaningful. That right arm is carrying the weight. And then left arm lifts up, crosses through, turn to the right. Back to dog pose. Right leg up, roll the hip open and bend the knee, turn. And then a big step forward, warrior two. Widen the arms. Straighten the front leg, triangle pose. Right hand comes down. Left arm reaches up, right hip crease deepens and pulls back. Find your breath. Keep the legs really strong and straight and just float the torso up and back into reverse triangle. Look down at that hand behind you. Breathe. Sense the length in that right side body. Keep it there as you float back into triangle. And one more time, reverse triangle, up and back. Back to warrior two. Side angle pose, hand to the floor, or you can rest your forearm on your right thigh, or you can bring the hand to a block. Turn. Keep the legs as they are, float up and back into reverse warrior. Look back at that left hand. Sink that right thigh down. Find your breath. And float back into side angle pose. One more breath. Back into reverse warrior. Back into warrior two. Hands down, dog pose. Now we're facing dog. Enjoy a few seconds in dog pose. Lengthen the breath out. Left leg up. Roll the hip open, bend the knee. Big step forward, warrior two. Just 
Straighten the front leg and reach out, triangle pose. <clears throat> Excuse me, connect with the feet and the legs <clears throat> and float up and back into reverse triangle. Feel like, you know, your movements <clears throat> are syrupy and kind of delicious. Long left side body, come back into triangle pose. One more time, reverse triangle, up and back. Warrior two. Side angle pose, drop that left hand down or rest that left forearm, reach with that right arm, turn from the belly. Load it back, reverse warrior, up and back. Look back at that right hand. Back into side angle pose. Back into reverse warrior. Easy on the neck. Warrior two. Downward facing dog. Right leg up. Roll the hip open and bend the knee, turn. Level the hips, keep that right knee bent as you shift forward. Take that right chin into pigeon. Wiggling that left foot back, making space for yourself. Let that left front of the hip sink down. Hands at 45 degrees for just a breath or two. And then as you're here for a couple of breaths, you may find a little more space. And if you feel that that may be the case, just bend the back toes under, straighten the leg and lengthen that back leg out a little bit, kind of like we did in that modified Hanumanasana. Then from here, walk the hands closer into you for a breath or two. Drawing that left front hip open, drawing it forward, I should say, and then settling down into it. Another few breaths. Really nice. Press yourself up. Roll onto that right sitting bone. Swing the left leg around and stand that left foot outside that right knee. Draw the hands behind you, fingertips face back for a breath or two. And then keep that left hand where it is. Turn the chest to the right and either just wrap around that left knee or you can cross the elbow over. But use that hand behind you to keep length in the spine. One more breath. Nice. Come back through center. 
Step back into downward facing dog. Left leg up, roll the hip open and bend the knee, turn. Level the hips and shift forward, take that left shin into pigeon. Again, hands at that 45 degree angle to start. And as you're here for a few breaths, you feel like maybe you have a little bit more room in that back leg. Again, if you want to, furl the toes under, lengthen the leg, draw it back a little bit, and set it down. And then walk the hands in a little bit, press down with the hands, almost as if you could pull the mat towards you, right? Pressing pulling towards you with the hands, maybe the chest can open up a bit. And then forward fold, settle into it for a few breaths. Another breath or two. And then press down with the hands. Walk yourself back up, rolling onto that left sitting bone, swinging the right leg around and standing that right foot outside that left knee. Bring the hands behind you to start to find length in the spine first. And then using that right arm to continue to provide length to the spine, the left arm will either wrap around the knee or cross over. Nice. Come through center. Bring both legs straight out in front of you. Staff pose. Sit nice and tall. Keep that right leg extended. Bend the left knee. Draw it in for Janya Shirshasana. And again, hands behind you to start finding length. And then forward fold. Any depth that makes sense for you, keeping a long front body. Another breath or two. And then slowly draw yourself back up. Pause for just a moment. Let the sense of that resonate in you. And then switch legs. Left leg out in front. Right foot. Janya Shirshasana. 
in forward fold. And slowly bring it back up and pause for just a moment. Both legs out, nice and straight, staff pose. And then bend the knees, roll back down onto your back. Feet hip distance apart, heels under the knees. Press up into shoulder bridge, stand into the feet, snuggle the shoulders underneath you. If the hands touch, you can clasp the hands and find your breath. Release the hands, peel down, let the knees fall open, soles of the feet together. A couple of breaths. One more time, bridge pose. If you want to do Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow, feel free to do that as well. Stand into the feet otherwise for bridge. Clasp the hands if they reach. And then find your breath. Release the arms, peel down. And then, keeping your feet where they are, lift the hips up, shift the hips over to the right a little bit, float the knees up, and let the knees roll to the left. Just nice, simple twist. Slowly bring the knees back. Center the hips again. Stand into the feet, lift the hips up, shift them to the left. Knees float up and roll to the right. So much of our sense of well-being comes from our mobility. And to the extent that we can take our spine, our pelvis, in all ranges of motion, and keeping a sense of ease, and what we think of as youthfulness in our mobility, our spine, uh, it's a good thing. And then float the knees back, settle the feet down, bring the hips back into center, hug the knees into the chest, just rock a little side to side, pressing the spine into the mat, 
And then stretch the arms and legs out for a brief Shavasana. Allow the muscles to disengage. Find a sense of heaviness. Take a few deep conscious breaths. So that sense of having introduced some ease into the body, that your breath feels a little more generous. One at a time, draw the knees into the chest. Roll onto your side and press up into an easy seated position. Take a few breaths here. Register the sense of spaciousness in your breath and your body. Maybe having eased that sense of urgency with your thoughts. Draw the palms together, thumbs at heart center. Give a little bow of your head to your heart. Light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for practicing. I hope I see you soon.